Now the interior, one of the biggest things you'll see right here is this large 11.6 inch HD multimedia display. This is the largest display Toyota has ever made. It has a wide variety of uh, functions, uh, but you can see it's been seamlessly integrated into the Prius dash without, uh, without much uh, interruption. So we've uh, made the air vents a little vertical to kind of really give the vertical screen a good look. Uh, part of it is this, this screen has a lot of different functionality with swiping. So I can swipe up and down. I can use the menu system swiping up. I can, uh, if I want to look at maybe my energy and where my energy is going, as a lot of our Prius drivers do, you have a screen like this. In addition to that, I'll also always see the map on top of the screen on most functions. So it allows me to do different things. If I wanted to use audio, I can go in the audio and, uh, and really be able to change my radio station without missing a turn or without using my navigation on top. So that's one of the biggest benefits of this large screen is to be able to do two different things at once uh, without losing any functionality. As again, it also has a lot of different swipe features. Has pinch zoom. Pinch zoom in and out, and I can swipe around the map as well. Um, so another great feature about this screen and about uh, all of the Prius Primes is we have a charging schedule feature. The charging schedule feature allows me to take advantage of off-peak electrical times to charge my vehicle. So typically when you get home, uh, it's six or seven o'clock at night, that's when electricity is the most expensive. That's not when you really would like to charge your, your vehicle. You really want to charge in the early morning or middle of the night. And you can do that here with the charging schedule. So I can go in here, I can add a, uh, a, a charging event. So what I'm going to do is say, hey, I'm going to leave tomorrow morning at uh, 7 a.m. And actually, that's the normal time I leave Monday through Friday. So I'll go ahead and save that in here and it will charge the vehicle uh, based on my departure time. It takes about five, five, a little bit less than five and a half hours to do a full charge using a standard household outlet. Um, and that's in, includes, that's with the cable that's included with the vehicle. So it'll start charging, you know, leading up to seven o'clock and give you a full charge ready to go. You can also use the climate prep feature here. What that'll do is it'll prepare the, the cabin for my comfort com uh, based on the last climate control setting that you have in the vehicle. I go ahead and save that. And you can see here, now I'm uh, set to charge up these. I can just plug it in as soon as I get home and it'll start charging, as I said, uh, in the early hours of the morning to make sure I'm ready to go at seven o'clock. You took a little bit of uh, that beast cotton panel also. Uh, sure, sure. Uh, let me uh, change the... Maybe I'll leave uh, this one open. Okay. okay, up here we have our dual 4.2 inch multi-information displays. As you can see over here on the left side, we have our speedometer, our odometer, as well as our average MPG. Uh, we're in EV mode right now, and you can see the battery capacity here. Uh, you see where the line is where the battery goes down to, uh, to blue. That's for my EV mode range. When it gets down to blue, uh, it's automatically going to kick into hybrid vehicle mode, just like the normal Prius. On our right side, we have a series of different screens. Um, namely, this is uh, the energy consumption screen and where energy is going in the vehicle. I have the Eco Diary Drive Monitor, which, uh, which helps you determine uh, the electrical range you have left, whether it is um, the bottom one is actually if you're running the air conditioning, you'll have a little bit less EV mode range. The middle one is your EV mode range without the air conditioning on. And then the top one is actually similar to an MPG number, but for electrical power. So I'm getting 4.1 miles per kilowatt hour. And remember this battery has a capacity of 8.8 .8 kilowatt hours. And before I go, I'll leave you with one last thing here as I turn off the vehicle. Thanks, bye-bye.